So knowing keywords is a really important part of reselling clothing. You need to know how to describe the piece that you have. However, there is a shortcut that is available to you for a lot of clothing, not all clothing, but some clothing, specifically performance clothing, athletic clothing, outdoors stuff, uh, jackets, and clothing from certain bigger brands like J. Crew or Madewell or any number of others that don't hop immediately to mind, they will put style numbers on the tags. And it can be a bit of a pain in the ass to find them, but a lot of the times it's worth it because if you can look up the style code and connect it online with the actual description of the exact piece that you happen to have sourced, it will give you a title that you can just plug directly into eBay or Poshmark or wherever it is that you're selling the thing that potentially will add a lot of value to the listing. So something that otherwise would be generic and would be priced lower if you know the exact search term that your buyer is using to look for something very specific if that item is popular especially you can get away with pricing the stuff up a little bit higher and that simple exercise will pay out a large amount of money proportionate to the amount of work that it takes to actually do it and it's not a simple process all of the time sometimes it is but it is exasperatingly hard to figure it out sometimes. So in this video, I'm gonna go through a few pieces that I've already listed that this experiment worked on and just show you kind of my process of, of hunting for the style code and how I do it. So this first piece is a pair of Carhartt scrubs, ripstop scrubs, and I'll show you the tag. So, big tag and it's got a lot of numbers on it. So if you see up here at the top, there are these two numbers. It says RN right here and then it gives a small number and then there's another number over here. These two numbers you will see on a lot of tags. Do not be fooled. It would be too simple a system if there was consistently style codes that were in a uniform format across all of these brand tags, not the case. These two numbers can almost always just be completely ignored. Oftentimes it'll be RN and then CA over here for the second number. If you see these two sets of numbers, you'll develop an eye for it. I don't even bother looking them up anymore. I'm looking for something more like this number right here. It's kind of standalone. Sometimes it'll actually say style code on it, but it's a very specific and seemingly purposeless string of letters and numbers floating alone in uh, a weird part of the tag. That looks to my eye like a style number that I'm gonna look up. So I will go over to a browser, I'll use Google. I won't do it in eBay, I'll use Google. And normally I would do it on desktop, but I'm just doing it on the phone because it's gonna be much easier to edit this video this way. So I'm gonna look for Carhartt C54108. And there we go. Carhartt ripstop pants, rugged and durable workwear, Amazon ripstop pants, ripstop multi cargo scrub pant. So, a lot of the times you'll look up these style codes and you'll get a big mix, a big kind of heterogeneous mix of all different keywords and different titles and descriptions. You're looking for something that's a bullseye, something that's either repeated multiple times or something that you can eyeball and tell that it's the exact same item. If it brings up the website for the brand itself, that is preferable, like this did. So Carhartt here, I can scroll down, and once it loads, I can visually compare it to the piece that I have and verify or not verify that it's the same item. And I can eyeball and say, yeah, the pockets are in the same place, and it has the drawstring, it has the same fly, so I'm gonna use that as the title, as I did on this eBay listing, Ripstop Multi-Cargo multi Scrub Pant, and I'll just input it into the eBay title exactly like that. And that's a pretty generic sounding title, but sometimes it'll have like a proper formal name. And then if I comparison shop on eBay, it will give me exact comps for that item. Let's do another one. Here's a 511 Tactical. This 
exercise with the style numbers for the most part works with performance type clothing for me. Big brands where if they just say nylon shirt, no one's gonna buy it. And it's kind of a marketing game that they play where they have a thousand different pieces that are all pretty much generic, but they have to be niche marketed because the buyer has to be convinced that there's something special or unique or more technically advanced about the piece to make it more appetizing. So there is more specificity and there are more formal names for like workout gear, hiking gear, and tactical gear, especially. So 511 is a good example of that. So let's take a tour of the tags. This is the material tag, nothing there. On the back, it's not really anything there either. It's almost always going to be down in this material tag here. And a whole bunch of homework to do on this giant tag. One pretty reliable shortcut is to flip all the way to the back and check these smaller tags that are usually all the way at the back behind the other material tags. These little ones will bear the relevant style code most of the time. And as you can tell, they have not made it easy. There's a bunch of different codes and numbers on that tag. So I will eyeball it and say it's probably that 711 because a lot of the time these style codes will be a mix of numbers and letters. It just looks to my eye like the style code. And I don't actually remember if this is correct. 511 Tactical. And this is a great example. So I'm seeing the same title again and again, 511 Tactical Tac Light Pro Short Sleeve Shirt. Tac Light Pro Shirt. Tac Light Pro, Tac Light Pro. So fairly confident that is the correct style code and that is the correct garment. Again, you can just pull up the, the actual brand site itself, which is gonna be the most reliable and authoritative. Amazon also I prefer over eBay because eBay is just a single seller. There's not as high of a standard in terms of getting the exact correct title. People make mistakes, but Amazon I think is a little more stringent. It's the same shirt, it visually matches up. So I'm gonna list it as the Taclight Pro short sleeve shirt. I'm gonna be able to get more money for that than if I was just listing it as a tactical short sleeve button up shirt. It does deserve to be said that if you price it up and if you if you follow the niche marketing to a, a smaller buyer base, it will probably take longer to sell unless the thing is just enormously popular because most people are gonna be searching generic uh, key terms. Here's a pair of cargo shorts that are from the same brand. So looking at this tag, it's just the size. It's not really much of anything. So once again, here's this big scroll. And once again, same story. There's that little tag right there. And you can probably tell which one is the style code. It's that second one. So here's a good example of a piece of clothing with a formal title. The Strike with a Y pant for uh, true badasses. 511 Tactical Strike Pant with Flex Tac. Charcoal. I don't need to show you the site. I already know from having looked this up that that's what it's called. So it's listed as a strike, a, stre a streak pant with Flex Tac. And it's ripped off as well. Another pair of pants here. This one from the North Face. So let's take the tour. There's the tag. Under here, what do we find? Nothing there. This is just material information. And then behind all of it, here's this little guy right here. So once again, they do not clarify which is the style number. 
You just have to guess. So let's just go through them. First one is S13. I'm gonna guess this is not it because it's too short, but you never know. It can be tricky because sometimes if you look up these, these just random numbers that they put on the, the tags, there's some kind of internal indexing system or what, or they, they're just there to uh, mess with you. It'll pull up a bunch of different listings under the brand. Um, and you have to be careful because a lot of times eBay sellers will mistake different non-serial number numbers on the tags for the serial number and put it in their listing and then just shotgun a bunch of random keywords in there. And that is not authoritative. Again, you want some kind of uh, credible, plausible verification from a trusted source that the, the word is correct. So S13 is not it. So this actually was it. This is one of the rare style codes that are quite short and don't have numbers in them. AJFB, Paramount Peak Convertible Pants. Paramount Active Convertible Pants. Here's the last one I will show you. It's an Orvis shirt. Women's fly fishing seersucker shirt. Powerful keywords. I could just list it like that and still sell it. But fishing shirts, I know from experience, usually have formal titles. And you would think that the conspicuous reference number, RN number, would be the best and most relevant style code, and you would be a fool. So you search that number, Orvis 70534, and it just pulls up a bunch of irrelevant crap. So what I said at the beginning of the video, beware the RNs. Sometimes they're the correct serial number and other times they will just lead you down a wild goose chase. And if you flip over underneath, look what we have. We have the actual style code. Which one is it? Is it both? Is it one or the other? Nobody knows. It's a mystery of the cosmos. So we'll have to just look it up. 3E9X. There it is. Orvis Women's Open Air Casting Shirt. Those keywords allow me to price the thing up. Someone who wants specifically an open air casting shirt will be able to find it. There are people, buyers, that search for specific garments like that, but also if you're able to provide the title for just generic browsers, it will uh, confer more prestige to your listing and you as a reseller, it makes you seem more credible. And they can also go in comparison shop and see how good of a deal it is you're actually offering them, which hopefully is a great deal. So um, I wanna reiterate, most clothing, you can't do this. Most clothing, it's gonna be a waste of time. Anything that's not potentially really valuable and you have to have a sense for that after some period of reselling, probably not gonna be worth it. Um, like really generic, workout stuff. Sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it isn't. If it seems like something special, I'll usually look it up. And lower end brands, I'm not gonna bother. Just generic dress shirts or casual shirts that where there's nothing really that unique or there's not like a clear marketing angle that the company would have used, I'm not gonna bother. But higher end stuff, I will, and it's worth just running through a quick search because sometimes it pays off. So I hope that helps. And you don't have to do it. In fact, perfectly reasonable just to skip it, use generic keywords and flip the stuff uh, for cheaper, which is, you know, kind of my disposition anyway. But I hope that does help you demystify the style code thing a little bit. Thanks for watching.